For an exceptionally silent and functional PC build, the Be Quiet Pure Base 600 ATX tower is what you're looking for. It's completely sound insulated with dampening materials in all the relevant places, features a modular design with removable ODD and hard drive base for various cooling solutions, and it comes pre-installed with two Pure Wings 2 fans. One of the things I love about this case is the cable management area. There are plenty of pass-throughs and grommets to help with cable management, something I don't often see in most cases. The Pure Base 600 comes with a 3-year warranty and it's available in black and silver accents. If you want to learn more, check out the first link down below. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and just as I promised, I'm bringing you a quick benchmark comparison between the 8-core R7-1700 and the quad-core i7-7700K. If you somehow missed my previous comparison between the 1700X and the 1800X that went up against the 6800K and the 6900K, then I'll be sure to link that down below. So the test beds are exactly the same, nothing has changed from the previous benchmarks other than the CPUs of course. And for overclocks, I pushed the 7700K to 5GHz with a core voltage of 1.325 whereas the 1700 was overclocked to 3.9 GHz, also on a 1.325 core voltage. So without wasting any more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into the benchmarks. I said it once before and I will say it again, the R7-1700 is a solid gaming and productivity CPU. The 7700K just can't compete with multi-threaded applications. If you do both gaming and editing, the 1700 is the obvious choice here. Of course, you are missing out on some FPS in gaming. The 7700K is still currently the king, and if gaming or streaming is all you do on your PC, then you won't find a better value than the 7700K. It currently offers the best bang for your buck at 0.38 frames per dollar once overclocked. But that does it for this quick benchmark comparison. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so for more PC content. I'm Ed from TechSource, and I'll see you in the next video.